So if you guys didn't catch the latest vlog and you missed that whole explanation of what happened to the Walmart gaming PC, let me give you the TLDR. Wifey Sauce put the system in her trunk one day. I had no idea that it was there. I take her car, run it around town running errands all day, and basically this happens. Glass. Glass everywhere. The uh, the entire front panel completely shattered. It's broken. There's no, there's no fix in this. At least the airflow is much improved. But what's interesting is that Walmart has been contacting me left and right saying that there's been a defect discovered apart from just all the other things that are wrong with it that myself, Gamers Nexus, Linus Tech Tips, and other channels have already pointed out. They're saying that these overpowered systems are actually prone to getting this weird blue screen. So they're sort of recalling all of them, giving either people a full refund or a replacement. Now, some of you guys remember, I actually upgraded several of the parts in this system and was planning to give it away. I drew the winner uh, about two days ago. He never replied to me, so his prize is now forfeited. But obviously the next person I draw can't get the system. It's, it's completely thrashed. So I'm gonna have to give them a similar system that has e equal or better specs, but that's a topic for another video. As for this system as it is right now, I'm gonna actually return Walmart's phone call right now and tell them the situation of, you know, this permanent case damage to see if they will still allow me to get a full refund for this rig. And obviously I would have to swap out any of the upgraded parts for the original hardware, which I still have, still works properly, but we'll see. Let's, let's just give Walmart a call right now and see how accommodating their customer service is. But you know what? Right before I do that, I'm just gonna pop this side panel open and make sure that the other hardware is fine. Because if like the GTX 1070 is damaged or something like that, then there's definitely no way that they're gonna take this back. Let's just see if the front panel was the only casualty. I really hope so. <sighs> actually looks, actually looks fine. I think we're good. I mean the GPU's plugged in, so it's already better than how it came out of the box. All right. We're clear to give them a call. The Thermaltake A500 Aluminum TG Mid-Tower features a sleek aluminum front panel and two 4mm tempered glass panels for breathtaking views. Enjoy 420 and 360 rad support at the front and top respectively and breeze through installation with a dismantleable modular design. Step up your case game with the A500 Aluminum TG and click on the link below for more info. Thank you for calling Walmart.com. Thank you for calling Walmart.com. My name is Eon, come out today. Hi Eon, my name's Kyle and uh, I recently purchased a overpowered gaming PC, model DTW1. Lately I've been getting uh, some phone calls and emails from you guys saying that I have the option to return or get a refund uh, for the product due to a, a widespread defect. The only issue is that the item was recently damaged, so I'm not sure if that disqualifies it for uh, a refund. All right, uh, just to verify, uh, the PC is not working or is any uh, defect on the uh on the components of the PC? Yeah, it's actually the case that was damaged. As far as the actual functionality, the PC still works perfectly fine. You want to refund the item to process for the refund? Is that correct? That's correct, if possible. Alright. Alright, this is very fine that someone at Walmart.com uh, contact you regarding the uh, item? Correct. Um, several people have contacted me. One through uh, the phone, they left me a voicemail, and one through email as well. Because it says here that the product has a defect. Yes, it says here that the early uh, units of the overpowered desktop pieces were also affected by a disk drive problem that was causing a blue screen to appear. So it seems that they are recalling all the items for the first batch of the uh, overpowered pieces. And just to confirm, uh, it is okay to get a full refund even though the, the front, the, the entire front panel of the, the case itself is uh, is damaged. Yes, yes, you will get a refund for this one. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to double check everything there. Just stay on the line, please. I'm going to pay some all the notes and double check everything on the system. And then I'll be back, okay? Thank sure. You. Thank you. Well, look at that. They're actually going to honor a full refund despite the damage. I mean, I got to give them credit there. That's actually pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so for this one, uh, we will automatically process the refund for you then. They are recalling the item, okay? Sure, no problem. Anything else I can do for you? That'll be it, thank you very much. Well, I am gonna fill out that email survey and give that boy high marks all around. I'm getting about $1,500 back. Pretty much a full refund, they even paid for the shipping label, so I just got to uh, swap out all the parts for the original hardware and box it up, ship it out. Should be processed in a few days, so. That's awesome. Hold on, Wifey Sauce doesn't wanna be on camera right now, so I'm just gonna shoot from around the corner. Honey, they issued a full refund for the Walmart PC. Really? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes they did. Whoa, that's cool. So, the fact that the front panel was broken is no problem at all? That is correct. Yeah, I even said, you know, it's, it's fully damaged. It's not, it's, you know, it's not there. And he was like, yeah, no problem. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool. 
I will, is, that, is, that, is that a new eyeshadow you're wearing? That looks pretty good. New lipstick. Oh, of course. I knew something was different. Well, uh, that was super easy. I was expecting that to be a little bit more dramatic and certainly take a bit more time. Walmart just made that whole process so quick and easy that I don't even have any more content for this video. It's like, geez, those guys can't do anything right. So I guess now this is just gonna turn into a boring old vlog where, where you guys get to watch me do mundane crap. So, geez, stupid freaking, like, like freaking block the sun out of my face, which isn't working at all. What's the point of these sun visors? They're not gonna work. I have to go to the bank. Let's go to the bank. All right, so we gotta deposit some checks, mostly Amazon affiliate checks from the EU because they're the only ones that do not direct deposit. Damn Europeans always gotta be so tradition. Unfortunately, I don't think I can take you guys into the bank with me, so you'll have to wait here in my car unsupervised. I think that makes me a bad YouTube parent. Well, that was easy enough. They didn't give me too much trouble converting those foreign checks. Now we're gonna go run an errand for wifey sauce. And, and myself too, I guess. Uh, we're picking up wine. We're gonna get a nice bottle of uh, fancy wine. You know, in the 10 to $20 range kind of fancy. And the market we go to is right up here. All right, I'm gonna go with educated guess because it is wifey approved, meaning that it tastes good and it's also vegan. Educated guess is a little wordy though. They could have just called it hypothesis or something. Okay, I, I know it's not open, but this, this definitely doesn't look good. Now, I could go home at this point, but where's the fun in that? I've got a couple things in my pocket, including a Walmart gift card. This video has really come full circle. I don't know who gave this to me. It's like 25 bucks or something like that. There's a Walmart literally down the street, so I wanna burn this thing really quick. I also have this $50 Visa Vanilla gift card that I got actually at a press event. I forget which vendor it was, but they gave all the press one of these, and it's, it doesn't expire. No, wait, shoot, it expires in two years, so I gotta use it quick. But this has been in my drawer ever since I got it like two years ago. I can't remember if I spent anything on it. I'm gonna call the number really quick to check the balance. Thank you for calling Vanilla Gift Card. Please enter your 16 digit card number from the front of your card. Please enter the four digit expiration date located on the front of your card. Please enter the three digit security code found near the signature panel on the back of your gift card. Your Vanilla Gift Card is ready to use and has a balance of two dollars and Oh, damn it. <sighs> well, it's still $2. So I could get a Nintendo Switch game, but I already have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is really the only game I need for the next 10 years. So the only other thing I can really think about buying right now that I actually need is a case for my Switch. But it looks like they're pretty sold out of most of the accessories because of the Christmas rush. So I don't know, guys. I think I'm leaving here empty handed or not. Look at this awesome beanie I found. It's got little tassels on and everything. I'm actually getting this because I'm going to Tahoe this weekend for New Year's with some friends. We're going to go snowboarding and stuff. Uh, I also just realized that this is actually a Rams branded beanie. And you guys know me. I don't care about things like baseball and stuff. But hey, this will keep my head warm all the same. So let's check out. I just realized I forgot to use my gift card. <clears throat> Looks like Walmart gets the last laugh today. All right, so we just got home, ready to pour the wine and all. Wifey sauce still doesn't want to be on camera. It's just one of those days, I suppose. But we're actually gonna use this cool little aerator that my parents got us for Christmas. We actually tested it out at their house on Christmas day, and half of us were able to tell the difference doing a blind taste test, and the other half was not. So we're gonna do one more just for the vlog. I'm gonna be the guinea pig, and wifey sauce is gonna pour. All right, so let me just set this up really quick. Now I'm gonna go in the other room. Wifey sauce is gonna pour, and she's gonna let me know when she's done. All right, I'm gonna move this back just a smidge. All right, I'll try this one first. Okay. One of them is decidedly smoother, has less of an alcoholic taste or a bite at the end of it. Pretty sure it's that one. They already did one? Yeah. You're wrong. Are you serious? Yes. Hold on. Oh, now I can tell. It's definitely that one. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it off right here. My last vlog was a little lengthy, so this one's gonna be a little shorter. But I hope you guys had a great New Year's. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably already 2019. I'm really looking forward to 2019. I think it's gonna be a great year for the channel. Hopefully it's a great year for you guys too. And uh, thanks for sticking around. Love you guys. Have a good one. I'll see y'all in the next video.